Welcome back to America, guys. We're at Indian, and we are taking out the new 2022 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Looks a little bit different than mine. We're going to go over the newer features of this bike and uh, go over all the stuff that's a little different from the one I have on my channel. I have the 18. This will be a 2022. Show you all the upgrades and all the awesome features Indian has packed into this. Let's get to it. Welcome back to Americade on the Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. A little bit different than mine. Cockpit looks kind of the same, but it definitely has some upgraded features, mainly the engine. We've gone from the 111 Thunderstroke engine on my 2018 Chieftain to a 116 Thunderstroke engine. The 116 also has changeable modes, so you have standard and you have rain mode, which gives you a little bit better traction in wet conditions. And we also have sport mode, which is what we're in and what we're gonna leave it in because why not leave it in the most fun mode to ride in? You don't buy these things to go slow. You buy them to go fast and run a red light like that. It was yellow when I went under, what are we talking about? It was totally yellow. Yellow means speed up, right? If you guys have been around my channel and seen some of my test ride videos, I have certain criteria by which I judge these bikes. First and foremost is comfort. If it's not comfortable, you won't want to ride the bike. I'm going to say for a stock seat, this is pretty comfortable. I have a custom seat on my Chieftain, a Saddleman road sofa. This seat is definitely not as comfortable as that. It feels kind of extra soft, which is not as much support. I would want a little bit of a stiffer seat, giving me a little more support for long hauls. I'd also probably want a backrest, but this isn't terrible. As far as riding position is concerned, it feels just identical to my Chieftain. Handlebars in the same position, footrests feel the same, width, everything feels the same there. The handlebars look identical in their shape to the ones that I have on my 2018 Chieftain. So I don't think they've changed a whole lot there. They have the shorty windshield on here, which is how the Chieftain comes. But of course you can upgrade that windshield if you want. Now we have the windshield in the full upright position at the moment, but it can go down. But we're gonna put it all the way up to help us out as much as possible here on the highway. We're in fifth gear cruising along with cruise control on here at 75 miles an hour. Not even into sixth gear yet. So let's kick it up into six, shall we? There's 85 in sixth gear. The engine has 126 foot-pounds of torque which is plenty of power for the highway. So the new 2022 Chieftain Dark Horse. 116 Thunderstroke engine, all blacked out. We now have a gloss black engine cover down there, which I think looks pretty classy. I'm not a fan of the way they've gone with the Chieftain fairings. I still prefer the older version, like mine, that's more rounded in the front. I feel like they made it look closer to a Harley with the Batwing style fairing and the single headlamp. Just my opinion, but I'm not the biggest fan of the look. It looks nice, it just, it's too close to a Harley. You know, Indian should be different, set apart somehow. It's just too similar. That's just me. Anyway, up front we've got LED lights, dual floating disc brakes, not Brembo's like on the Challenger, but still, two brakes up front slow you down. Got the highway bar, got the gloss black Thunderstroke engine, looks good, blacked out pipes. Everything blacked out, of course, it's a dark horse. We've got nice hard locking saddlebags here. Nice and deep and long, plenty of room. One thing they've done on here that I do like versus my 18 Chieftain is we have these rear closeouts. Bike is covered in pollen right now. We just had a huge like pollen burst here over the past few days. But these black trim closeout pieces in here, they keep you from seeing a gap between the bags and the rear fender. It's a nice look. It kind of dresses up the rear end and makes it look more solid. I think it looks pretty good. From the factory, you are set up for a passenger with pegs and rear passenger pillion built into the single piece seat. 
Again, not the most comfortable seat in the world. It's okay. I would definitely go for a, a custom seat. It's, it's just not great, but custom seat will fix that right away. There are some nice features like this new plug here. You can plug in your heated gear like gloves and jacket if you have heated riding gear. We've also got some cool features on the bike that you will access through the ride command system. We navigate this system either via the touchscreen or there are toggles back here on the handlebar controls on the back side you can hit with your index finger. On the right side here we have the uh, up and down for the windshield. On the left we have controls for zooming in and out on the GPS map. We also have controls for volume up and down. If you have Bluetooth paired up to the bike, you have 100 watts of power band audio in the front. Sounds incredible, plenty loud. There is also voice command control down here. If you have your headset paired up to like your phone and the system, you can do voice commands through your headset. Rider info, we've got info on the current ride. Uh, you'll get elevation here, voltage. You have, oh, I guess they installed on here the garage door opener system. So when you pull into your house, you can hit one or two and open your garage door. That's kind of nice. Radio, of course, you got AM, FM, weather band, so NOAA radar or a NOAA weather system. USB, iPod, who uses iPod anymore? It's so old. Bluetooth, which is what most of us will be using with like Spotify or Pandora or music on your phone. You can connect that. Next screen gives a little more ride info in a different way. You get like half a map and some info on the right. And then here you've got PSI for front and rear, mileage, voltage, uh, miles till oil change. And then you're back to the first screen. Now, you've got some additional features here which are pretty cool. You've got three ride modes, touring, standard, and sport. Sport is what we're leaving it in. It's the most fun, but you can change it to those other ride modes. Additionally, if we go to settings, we can go to vehicle, and we can turn on rear cylinder deactivation. I'm going to turn that off. It's where most of them have been today. So when you come to a stop, or if you're doing like a lot of stop and go traffic, it'll deactivate the rear cylinder to save on heat, because we're air-cooled here, not liquid-cooled, and save on fuel burn when you're sitting at a stop. So if you're a city driver or you've got a lot of stop and go traffic where you are, that's a nice feature to have. You can also change this to auto adjust between day and night modes. I'll show you what night mode looks like. It just blacks out everything on the screen, makes it a little easier on your eyes, and you can adjust the um, display brightness as well. Or you can set it to auto where it'll auto adjust on its own. We'll leave it all the way up. And now we're going to take it into some twisties here. It performed good on the highway, but I did have to stop the video for you guys. I was getting so much wind, the shorty windshield just is not cut out for highway riding. If you're going to ride on the highway, definitely get a taller windshield. The shorty windshield just will not cut it for you guys. All right, we're in sport mode. Third gear headed into the twisties. Let's see how she handles. It's familiar. It feels pretty much identical to my Chieftain. I doubt they've even changed the wheelbase or the rake. It feels identical to my Chieftain. Good handling. Feels great. Plenty of power. Sounds really good. That Thunderstroke engine has always sounded so good, both the 111 and the 116. Woo. This is a fun little road they send us on for the demo rides down here at Americade. Just absolutely great road to do this on. You get a little highway time, you get some time in the twisties, get some time in town. It's a good combination to get a good feel for the bike. So the comfort could use a little improvement with a custom seat, but the riding position's great. 
the handling is fantastic. It's just like my Chieftain, just like pretty much any uh, Chieftain or Roadmaster that India makes. Really good handling. Also, one other thing I forgot to note, your GPS features weather radar and traffic. So you can tell how much traffic's along your route and see if there's any rain coming. You guys have seen the storage, hard locking saddlebags, just like on every other Chieftain. Of course, they make the accessory trunk that you can add if you need more storage. See how these brakes do up front, pretty good, pretty good. As far as looks are concerned, looks will be subjective to everyone, but I've walked around the bike, you guys have seen what it looks like, and you know my thoughts on the front fairing. From the inside, from the rider's side, it looks identical to my 18 Chieftain. The cockpit looks absolutely the same. It's on the front side of the fairing where they've made adjustments and gone from that rounded look to this new Batwing style fairing over the past couple years that resembles the Harley Batwing with the single headlamp up front. Part of the reason I liked the original fairing of the Chieftains was it had a little history to it. It was designed to resemble a streamliner uh, train. The train noses from like the 1940s and 50s. That was part of the original intent behind the design. It was a classic look. So I understand this is more modern and this is what a lot of people like and are used to. So I understand why Indian went this way. It's just not what I would have done. If you guys like this look, or if you like the older look of like my 2018 with the rounded nose, let me know in the comments. I'd like to see uh, what your guys' thoughts are on the redesign over the past couple years here by Indian. You guys good? No, we're just trading. Okay. Oh, so much fun down here at Americade. So many good, good people having a lot of fun doing demos and test rides. Just so much fun stuff going on down here. So thank you guys for watching this video from Americade on the Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. If you guys have enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It's the big red button. Click the bell icon next to it. That'll give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch here on Motoblade. If you have any questions about this bike or about the older Chieftains like mine, let me know down in the comments. I love talking motorcycles with you guys. So if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to ask me down below. I hope you guys are enjoying all of these test ride videos I'm bringing you from Americade this week. I have just got so many test rides that I'm doing. It's ridiculous. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get them all edited. But I hope you guys are enjoying them. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, you all know what to do. Be careful out there on the road. Ride safe. Ride on. I'll catch you all in the next video. Deuces.